our shout out tonight comes from uh, Crystal and the shout out is for uh, Core of the Sun that's C-O-R-O-F-T-H-E-S-U-N uh, Crystal would you like to tell us a little bit about Core of the Sun I would actually and I'm just going to speak from the heart here because um, I've got things written down about Johnny his name is Johnny Scott he lives up in New York uh -huh. and this guy is just probably one of the sweetest and most um I, I don't even know how to even describe him. Positive, um, energetic, uplifting. Um, there's not anything political you're going to find on his timeline. There's not that much religious stuff that you're going to find on his timeline. Um, he, he's actually an IT technician. He says he likes Linux and Macs, all that stuff oh, cool. uh, that I don't get anyway. Um, he loves Nile Rogers and funk music, so he likes to tweet music. But this is a guy that just consistently remembers uh, if you weren't feeling well one day or if you had a child that was in the hospital mm -hmm. and he will send you tweets how are you just thinking of you hugs he is just one of the sweetest guys that I've ever met on Twitter oh, and I do nice. mean that this is a guy that has got his own challenges physically mm. and you would never know it so um, people that people that are like that I tend to love to follow anyway and I am really proud to have him as one of my followers and I just I love Johnny yeah, there you go all right well if you're on Twitter if you're not on Twitter why aren't you give uh, core of the Sun a follow at C O R O F T H E S U N okay let's get into our question of the week excuse me I have a question I have a question I have a question sir what are you doing? I'm asking you a question. Our question from last week was, what was one thing that you have on, that you've been able to mark off of your bucket list? And we had several replies. And if I can find them. Uh, here we go. Uh, we had from Dawkins Dog. He says, the only thing I've done, uh, I've done on my bucket list is to buy a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you actually need to buy a bucket. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, mean Fluff. Uh, said, uh, I marked off, write a list. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that's, hey, that's the first thing you say. Got to make a list? Well, the first thing you put on, make a list. Okay, now you've got it done. <laughs> uh, we had one from Wizard of Todd, and he, this one's a bit long. He says, one thing I, I was able to eliminate from my bucket list was, Dear Lisa, Dear Lisa, may she rest in pieces. Seriously, though, <laughs> I have two on my list. <laughs> One go to Mount Wilson Observatory, where Hubble did his research. And uh, two, saw General Chuck Yeager last year at the EAA Air Venture in Oshkosh. Oh, that's Ooh. that's cool. I've been the I've been to the Oshkosh uh, Air uh, thing one year, and it, just amazing. They just I think when I was there, I think they only had like two plane crashes the whole time I was there. But I was only there for one day. But the EA goes on for like several days. But it's uh, it's great fun. If you ever get a chance, if you're in Wisconsin and you go to the uh, Oshkosh Air Venture, uh, bring some comfortable shoes and lots of cash <laughs> and a camera. And uh, you will see things you will n you will probably will never get to see that up close ever again. It's It's amazing. All right, let's uh, our next question for this week came from uh, from uh, Joe, and he says, "If you could bring into reality any mythological or fictional creature, what would it be, and what would you do with it?" Uh, Joe, if you could bring any fictional or reality, bring into reality any mythological or fictional creature, uh, what would it be, and what would you do with it? I would bring into reality Falcor from the Neverending Story, mm. and I would fly him around like a Treyu. Here you go. And chase after bullies. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. You know, it was funny about this particular question. My daughter had came up with this thought of this just hours, literally hours, just before Joe sent me this exact question. <laughs> it was how similar were the questions? Very. It was. It was very similar. It's like, well, I would <laughs> like to do this, bring a fictional character, and have you know do something. This is like, and then Joe came up with this question. It's like. Wow, this is just weird. <laughs> that is, it was just I awesome. Have, I, I wasn't going to 
to say this on the show, but I do have psychic abilities. Ah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I can process the thoughts from other people. Oh, that's cool. You must have no hairline left. <laughs> 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 Crystal <laughs> Somebody needs to answer the phone <laughs> <laughs> Answer the phone, damn it uh, Crystal, if you could bring in a reality Any mythological or fictional character What would you be and what would you do with it? Fictional? Um, Fith- fictional or mythological creature What would you do with it? How about if I said like I want Wonder Woman Because I want to I wanna ride around that invisible plane to hers a little bit ah. There you go <laughs> That's awesome <laughs> We could, we could have, like, invisible plane Falcor races. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was right off the cuff because I was not prepared for that question. <laughs> put it in the drop box. Yeah. I missed it. That's all right. <laughs> not a problem. Don't tell anybody. Okay. We won't. Shh. Just between us and, and the, 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 do, the five people Patrick. listening to us. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just whatever you do, don't tell me. Uh, <laughs> uh, for myself, if I could bring into reality any mythological or fictional character, I'm going to have to steal the one my daughter came up with. Uh, she came up with one that uh, said she'd make a magical fairy that would come into the house at night when you're sleeping and just clean the house. So this way, everything <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, everything would be clean. The dishes would be done, the laundry would be done, everything would be put away, floors would be mopped and swept and everything, and the house would look sparkly clean when you woke up. And you, No matter what condition the house was when you went to bed, it would be sparkly clean when you got up. <laughs> My family already thinks that exists here. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> I oh, found that out when I moved out. I said, what? Where did the magical fairy go? It's just not the house isn't clean when I woke up. <laughs> Good answer. Yes. So if you have an answer for, uh, if you could bring into reality any fict- fictional or mythological creature, what would you, what would it be and what would you do with it? Uh, leave the comment section here below on YouTube, and uh, we will read it on the show for next week.